Welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Haley Grammer. If you are new around here, I am a Color Street independent stylist. I am currently an executive director with Color Street and I am so obsessed with Color Street. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing today is I am going to be putting Color Street on my toes pedicure time so what's really awesome about color street um is that usually you can get a manicure and a pedicure from one pack uh but today i'm just going to do a pedicure because i already have my nails adorably done uh and it's not time to do them again because color street lasts for a really long time especially on your toes it lasts for like forever on your toes i'm not even kidding so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to put uh, one of our number one seller Tokyo lights on my toes and I am real excited um, to show you how to do this so you can do your entire pedicure with almost just uh, the two bigger strips and then like two to three littler strips it's freaking amazing and I'm going to show you how to do it so you can do your pedicure with your leftovers from your manicure. Um, so I am actually going to Color Street Conference pretty soon. And so I went and got a pedicure yesterday at the nail salon because, you know, I just don't have the skills that they do to get all of that crusty cuticle stuff off and to make my feet really smooth. So I went and got a pedicure yesterday and I just was like, no polish. And my nail lady knows, she knows I do, I do Color Street. So she totally understood. Um, and so what now I have completely blank toenails and I am going to do it on camera for you. And since I'm going to Color Street Conference, I wanted something that was more neutral, but also sparkly and fun because I'm wearing all different outfits and things. Um, and so I'm gonna go with Tokyo Lights because it is sparkly beautiful but it's also like a good neutral so that's what I'm gonna go with so here we go get excited get excited okay, so before I put my feet into the video I want to show you what we are using so when you do your pedicure um, most likely you're gonna do your manicure first and so you're gonna use your leftovers from your manicure but in case you've never used color street before this is what comes in your package so you have like your actual strips and there's actually two sets of these so there's 16 fingers and toes you have two prep pads which are just alcohol pads so if you use your prep pads on your fingernails just grab some uh, rubbing alcohol and that's going to clean your nails off and then you get this adorable little fingernail file I also have a couple other tools um, if I have not just got a pedicure at the salon I would probably use one of these like buffing blocks to kind of buff the top out um, just because you know our feet take a lot of abuse and then I have a file just because I think this is just so cute so I love that file but this is going to be your number one tool for your pedicure is an orange stick or a cuticle stick because what we're going to do is we are going to take these bigger strips and size them for our tiny toes um, and so in order to do this you're going to need something with a sharper edge so this one has a point on one end and a um, like a little angle on this end you can get these at any beauty supply or drugstore you can get metal ones but the wooden ones you know are disposable throw it away afterwards no big deal um, so I have a actually I just have a, a collection of these these are those kind of things where when you are looking for one you can't ever find it but when you're not looking for it you find like a million right okay so that's what we have and let's get started so pumped do this now before I put my feet under here I just want to uh, tell you that I have um, and I don't feel like they're the cutest feet uh, I have grown up in my family we have always called them Fred Flintstone feet um, and so I always keep them polished. So the fact that I'm about to show you my unpolished toenails means that we have got a connection. Look how sparkly this Tokyo Lights is. I just freaking love it. Okay, so here are my toes. And like I said, I got a pedicure yesterday um, and I always keep polish on them, like always. I never go bare toed. So when you always keep polish on your feet, your you know toenails don't really get a chance to breathe or your fingernails and so sometimes they look kind of flaky. So that is what's happening here. So I am going to start with my left foot and I always do my big toe first because why not? You're not having to use it as a tool or anything. And I always suggest like pushing your cuticles back as much as possible um, because there's actually like an invisible layer of skin there that we can't really see. And if you put your color street strip on top of that, it's more likely to lift. So I like to push my cuticles back nice and far. And I use the bigger one. I always try to go bigger than your actual toenail because it's easy to cut it. So I take the clear piece off and then I take 
the paper off the bottom. I'm gonna pull this little tab off. And these biggest ones are kind of tapered. They're smaller on one end and bigger on the other end. And like I said, I like to use the bigger ones. So I line it up as close to my cuticle as I can. And I just press down. And as you can see here, I'm going over my cuticle. So this is also the way that you can do, uh, like if you have a little girl and you're doing their nails, you can use your leftover strips to do their nails too, and this is how you can do it. So I push it down over my cuticle and then I take my cuticle stick and I just push down within my cuticle right there. And it literally, because Color Street is real nail polish and not plastic or vinyl, it literally will just peel it away and cut it away and so then my Color Street nail polish is right up against my cuticle. Um, and then how I like to do this is I like to pull this really tight right here and then use my cuticle stick and kind of tuck underneath the fingernail and then it just kind of pulls off. And so like, you know, I did a video with my artificial nails and so I kind of just you know pull and tear so if you have natural nails this would be the way that you could get and do it so just kind of push down right over all the cuticle and voila amazing how easy was that okay so moving on all right so I have some pretty small toenails i actually envy people who have larger toenails because i feel like it's much easier to paint and so i have always like spent my life almost just painting my skin around my toes so thanks to color street i don't have to do that so i'm gonna pick because i have my whole set to pick from uh but if you um are using your leftovers you know you have less to choose from but it's okay because using our little trick we're able to size any strip for any nail so I'm gonna place this right on my toenail right there. And I'm gonna try my very hardest to not touch the underside of this strip as much as possible because I'm going to try and use pretty much almost the whole thing. And using that cuticle stick, I just cut it and pull. So easy. So I'm going to turn this strip around and I'm going to use this one on my next little toenail. And I went over on my cuticle over here, but that's okay because my trusty cuticle stick is just going to cut that for me, no problem. And look at that. So I tore this one a little bit uh, above the nail. So there's like a little bit of extra right there. So I'm just going to take my file and just kind of file down and file that extra right off. No problem. Okay. and probably because I touched it. <laughs> That's what I mean by try not to touch your strips because once our oils from our hands and things get on there, they can get kind of, um, you know, not sticky. Okay, I'm gonna come back after I use my prep pad and I am going to stick this on my nail and press down real, real good. Small surface area can kind of be a challenge sometimes, but I feel like this is much easier than just painting my skin like I used to do. Okay, so I pulled a little bit and I've got all this extra, so I'm just going to use my cuticle stick and just cut it so easy. And thankfully, these uh, glitters, the like the glitters like Tokyo Lights or the other ones that we have, um, they are so awesome because they provide like a nice um, camouflage if you have like uneven edges from using your cuticle stick and whatnot. Uh, the glitter, you know, makes it not so obvious that you have, oh, I just tore that right off. Small toenail probs. So I'm not going to lie and say that my tiny pinky toenails are the easiest because they are definitely not. They are a struggle because they are so small. There is such small surface area for it to stick to. But once it cures, it's stuck on there for good. Voila. How easy was that? 
Okay, next foot, and I'm gonna use my prep pad this time. Other prep pad and just go over and voila perfect pedicure so easy and simple I am obsessed and it's going to sparkle and be the cutest pedicure on the block and so easy so that's it. How easy is that? So freaking amazing, so fast, so simple, and it's going to stay on for a long time. You know, pedicures last longer than our, our manicures anyways, just because we're not using our toes like we are with our fingers, at least most people aren't. Uh, but with Color Street, it seems like it lasts forever. I mean, you have people going like two months without having to change their pedicure, and they're really only changing it out because of the, the growth that's happening. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe. I have lots more videos coming out. You guys are amazing. Thanks so much.